The Pharisees scourged and murdered many before they finally crucified me. Monday, August 26, 2013 at 8.20 p.m. My dearly beloved daughter, before I was crucified, many hateful lies were created about me by my enemies. There were gatherings held by the Pharisees, many times, to decide what to do about me. They would not accept, for one minute, that I had been sent by God to save humanity. How they hated me. How they screamed and tormented those disciples of mine, who were caught by them. The Pharisees scourged and murdered many before they finally crucified me. Their savagery and their wickedness were against God's teaching and the Most Holy Bible. This did not deter them, as they hunted me down. They would preach the Word of God and then they would defy the Word of God, all at the same time. Not only did they condemn me, but they declared that God would never send a Messiah of this type. They looked down on humble and poor people and those they considered to be theologically ignorant. Their hatred of me frightened many poor souls, who attended the temples. Those who asked them why they, the Pharisees, condemned me, were themselves condemned, for daring to question their reasons for rejecting me. There were many false prophets preaching, while I walked the earth and I was considered to be insane and not to be tolerated. Many of these false prophets quoted from the book of Genesis and made ridiculous claims, which were offensive to God, yet they were tolerated and given little attention. Although the miracles, which I performed, were witnessed, they would still not open their eyes to the truth, for they did not want to see. The priests of the day made many public speeches, which condemned me as being the son of Satan and warned those who were seen to associate with me that they would be expelled from the temples. They rejected me because they could not accept my humble origins and because I was not educated to their high expectations. Therefore, they concluded, I could not possibly be the Messiah. They thought that the Messiah would come from within their own ranks. And so, they detested everything about me. They felt threatened by my words, which despite their rejection of me, touched them in some way, which they did not understand. They were not prepared for my first coming. They certainly are not prepared for my second coming, today. Anyone who dares to say that they are a prophet, sent to warn God's children of the second coming, will be tolerated, once they do not reveal the truth. But when a true prophet reveals himself and speaks the word of God, he or she will be hated and publicly condemned. When you see outright condemnation, based on ignorance of the promises made by me, to come again, and when the hatred is so vicious that the perpetrators break the word of God, you will know then that it is me they hate. Only I can attract such hatred amongst sinners. Only my voice stirs up such opposition. Were I to walk the earth, at this time, they would crucify me again. Those who claim to love me and who lead my disciples in the Christian church would be, sadly, the first to drive the first nail into my flesh. Remember, none of you is worthy to place yourself before me. None of you has the authority to publicly condemn my word, when you do not know me. You, who condemn me, as I try to fulfill my Father's final covenant, have no shame. Your pride disgusts me. You have condemned your own souls, in my eyes. You have learned nothing about me. You do not believe in Holy Scripture because you deny that my second coming will take place. You will be asked to count the souls you have lost me on the final day. On that day, as you scream for my mercy, you will be unable to look me in the eye. Your Jesus.